Okay, the other day I published a video on uh, a program called Say Your Appointment. And then uh, I realized that I have never covered the voice commands. I covered a little bit in one of the other, program, one of the other videos. So we're going to press the and hold the Windows key, which activates your voice commands. Call Old Guy Geek. Calling Old Guy Geek. And there it is calling the thing. Now I'm going to end that call because there's a fake phone number in there that I added to the contacts. So that's how you do it. Now let's hold the key down again. So now we're going to press the help key up here. And you see it comes up with some suggestions. It says try saying call Chris Mobile, find coffee in Seattle. You know, all these different things. And then if you look over here, it says apps. Some apps support voice commands. The toggle is one that I have that turns on off Wi-Fi, but you can toggle the Wi-Fi settings on my voice. But you can also do the call to another person, press to press a number. Okay, you can also say call and speak to number and I'll call number. We'll show you that in a minute. Save, speed out, turn, turn call forwarding on and off. But these are the common things here. So you can activate note. So let's try one. Let's start. Say your appointment. Starting say your appointment. Say your appointment. Doctor at doctor's office on February 15th at 4 p.m. Heard you say doctor at doctor's office on February 15th at 4 p.m. There it is, doctor, doctor's office, your calendar that you have at the end of the date and 4 p.m. So you can save this into your calendar. <clears throat> and if we go back, we look at the calendar. Uh, there it is. Good. Let's try another program. Oh, there's Gas Buddy over there. Start Gas Buddy. Starting Gas Buddy. Okay. Let's go. Start mileage log. Starting mileage log. So if you know the names of your apps, right? No problem. Uh, you got Flickster, Shazam. You know. What this means is that if you end up with a lot of programs in your menu, you don't have to scroll around to find them necessarily. If you use, remember the ones you can use the most, you don't really have to have them. You don't have to come over here and, and go to A and then go to G for Gas Buddy and see that Gas Buddy's there either. You don't have to use the search function if you've got hundreds of applications. Uh, one of the best ways to do it is just, you know, be here on your home, open it up and say, oh, and say, Start Shazam. Starting Shazam. And there's Shazam. So voice commands, you should play around with your, your phone a little bit. You can do a ton of voice commands. As more and more programs will support speaking to them, people write them in, uh, you'll be able to do that. But virtually all, even if it's one that, uh, let's try one that, uh, Let's try, uh, let's say, Newegg and Arkanoid, which is, you know, Arkanoid is a smaller developer and all that stuff and everything. I think that's called Arkanoid. Start Newegg. Starting Newegg. So again, it doesn't have to be built in because it, it, it recognizes the entry in the title of the application. Uh, let's take a look at Arkanoid for a second, see what it's called. Arkanoid 7. Okay, it's at the bottom. So. Start Arkanoid 7. Starting Arkanoid 7. You even found that. Okay. So there's a lot of programs out here you can do that. You can probably start almost any program you have as long as you know the name and everything. Even some of the ones that I've loaded that are obscure that are tests and everything. Uh, you can do that as well. So that's uh, voice commands on your Windows phone.